Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI with Pericles. This is your host, Tim the Enchanter, uh, and we are picking up here at turn 45 in two, or 2240 BC. Uh, we have a very slowly growing empire because we don't have a lot of food uh, where we've settled Athens, but we've met a lot of city-states. Uh, and yeah, so we're on our way. Uh, I did notice in my first couple of videos, I tend to be really twitchy with, with the mouse. So my goal for today, I am not going to twitch the mouse all over the place. Let's see if that helps. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and let's get started. So at the moment, we are building a fishing boat there. Uh, now, as a reminder, um, we picked a Pantheon that gives us uh, an extra production for each fishing boat. So uh, this is, look at, so we've got two food, uh, production, and three gold there. I'm used to saying hammers from back in Civ 4, uh, but they're not hammers anymore. I guess they're kind of, they're gears, but we'll, we'll call them, um, well, forget it. We might just call them hammers anyway. Uh, all right, so our slinger has been exploring, so we're going to keep looking this way. Or what was I doing with him? Was I sending him down to... I feel like there was a barb city I was going to deal with down here. Uh, but now I don't remember where it is. Alright, well that's what happens when you take a day off. Alright! Uh, we are also getting close to... Let's see... Alright, well, I hate to tell you, but it really does. Um, we're just being nice to you. Um, because we don't want to wipe you off the face of the map. Because we're, we're friendly Greeks. Uh, it's really our, our co-leader, Gorgo, who you might want to be afraid of. But she's he's not here. But, you know, never take an alliance with the Greeks for granted. Uh, we'll let our scout heal here. Keep looking around with our slinger. Um, since he's in the water, I wonder if I shouldn't just go... Got really more tiles improved there than they can work, so I think we do need to go over here and get another fishing boat taken care of uh, for our other town here. Uh, we are going to have a trade route here soon, so we can start getting some roads up. That will be handy. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce. As it is to have a profitable bottom line. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get political philosophy done. This will unlock for us the uh, different government types that will let us have some more policies. Uh, I don't think we need to... Well, let's double check. I don't think there are any policies that we need to change right now. Um... Yeah, we're getting a plus one on all production. We don't really have any trade routes yet, so that won't help us. Um, actually, we might... Well, we're building one build. We'll go ahead. We, we may need to want to switch to the Ilkum here in a minute. Um, if we need to keep pounding out builders. But... We'll, we'll leave that for now. All right. Uh, what was this guy doing? This guy is killing the scout. Uh, and we are going to pretty promptly resettle this city here. Um, but I think we want to try to grow this to four before we try to get another settler out. We will keep exploring here with our slinger. All right. Um, our first now. First of all, do we have any city states that want a trade route? You want a great merchant, archer, uh, Buenos Aires does. That will give us someone there. So I think. Uh, but we can't send them a trade route. Where is Buenos Aires? They're way over there. Apparently they are too far away. Um, that's weird. Why would that take thirty? It 
doesn't even make sense. So I'm not sure how they determine the time it takes to do a trade route, uh, but it seems rather bizarre that a local one would take a lot longer. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do candy. That'll be a nice, you know, central road that will uh, come in handy later down the road. So we'll start with that one. Uh, we get a boost on currency. And what do we want to build next here? I think... I don't know that we need hoplites right now. Uh, let's go with the library. Beef up that city slot. Or the... Sorry, the uh, our campus slot. Warriors healed up here. We'll poke around down here some more. Ooh. So we got another city state. So we have this is this is just a great situation for us. Tons of city states, only one neighbor or opposing civilization. Go ahead and build that there. And then I think does that we've still got one left. We'll go ahead and hook up these elephants. We do probably want to get that wheat going as soon as we can. Somebody has built the hanging gardens. Uh, we're going to put him on Auto Explore. I think he was already on Auto Explore. So we have another Barb City down here. And we should bring our Slinger back around. It looks like he's going to get to the edge of the world here in just a minute. And we have entered the classical area, thanks the classical era, thanks to ironworking. We have another barb city over here. I don't know if our slinger will be able to take that out or not. Ah, so now we get a trade route bonus with Brussels. That will be great. And Hattusa. Okay. So we're gonna get some more bonuses there. That'll be handy. Uh, next thing we want to research, well, now we can start backfilling some of these. I think we definitely want astrology so we can get a holy site up now. We will set up our camp there. Oh, the nurse effect, I really should have, that was that was a misplay on my part. I really should have, should have hooked up the extra crab, especially with uh, the bonus we are getting for fishing boats. We need to make a fishing boat before we make anything else. But, I think uh, life will go on. Pick up some experience. It is nice with that bonus against barbarians uh, that our warriors can hold their own against barbarian spearmen. At least at prince level. I don't know if that changes further up or if it's just easier for them to have more um, people out or if they just take up faster. Ooh, so they are coming after our spearmen. Uh, but we do get a promotion here, which we are going to, I think, take now. Uh, that is not going to help us, but it will give us a heal. So hopefully that will help get us out of trouble here. And they won't die. Um, we're just going to take out this camp, and then we can circle back and get rid of the spearmen. Uh, we have just a lot of available land to the south. Obviously, we don't have available land to the north because we're really on the coast. Uh, and it looks like it just gets to tundra once we get very much further north. Uh, which is to say that at some point we're going... We're probably not going to be able to live in peaceful coexistence with the Congo. Uh, just because there, in the long run, may not be enough room on this map for both of us. It'll kind of depend on how quickly they expand. Which, so far, uh, they have not done. Can we see if they have another city? Let's send them a delegation. Uh, 
so they do have a second city, which I don't know where it is, but that's at least a good sign that they have not expanded in our direction. We'll send them a delegation also. Uh, and it looks like it looks like she does not have a second city yet at all. Hmm. So both of our opponents here on this island or continent, we are by the way on the continent of Mu. In case you were wondering. All right. So they have founded Buddhism. I should look and see. We really have not tried to found any religion. So that that is the first religion founded. So um, another founding another religion still an option if we do get a great prophet. Uh, I'm gonna back up here so I get a defense bonus, and then we'll take shots at that spearman if we can. Some more cheap experience for our warrior. Uh, so Congo beat us to political philosophy by a couple physician times. Physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. Gonna go ahead and heal up there, uh, as we'll. So I guess we'll range a little bit further south here, and then we'll heal up. So Athens still at three. So what are they working here? They're working that elephant. Okay, yeah. So this is still. Okay, so we're going to grow on the next turn. So we will probably put, let's see, where do I want to put my holy site? Oh, so we don't have anywhere to put it right now. All right, we're just going to sink a turn into a hoplite and then we'll switch to a settler. Um, or wait, am I misremembering how this goes? I think I am. So I think we can go straight to a settler now and we will still grow. Or no, we don't have, oh, so we're not growing. We can't grow because we don't have a food surplus. Yeah, so we're going to have to change our production here. There we go. All right, wait. Oh, no, I don't want that. There we go, over there. Unlock that one. Okay, so that gets us a food surplus. I really should have checked that earlier. I thought the, the community user interface, it manages that better, but apparently it didn't. Okay, we need to build a quarry, which we can't do until we actually have something to build a quarry on, but we'll get some nice benefits from our steady states once we do that. I think a couple of them are waiting on that particular inspiration. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and get currency. Then let us get some a commercial district down. At some point, I should really look further up the tree and see what else is going to be available to us. is the art of the possible the attainment okay the art of the so now do we want 
This is going to be an interesting choice. So we could take the double economic, and we're going to get a bonus to great people points. Um, yeah, I think the Classical Republic, that's the way we're going to go, just based on the way that we've been playing this game. Uh, we also do get an extra wildcard slot. Go ahead and take this one. I don't know if that's retroactive to relationships that we already have or what. Um... Let's go ahead and for now take double production on settlers and builders. And we will get double great points. All right, so let's let's go with this for now. Um, I think that's going to help us expand more quickly. And does that give us... Alright, so that doesn't help us with the city-states we've already met. Uh, but it will help us. We've still got one, two, three, so that's going to be six. Um, so I think that'll offset the extra points. We can always switch to the other one later once we've met all of the city-states, or once we've sent envoys to all the city-states. So at least early on, that's that's a, a better short-term gain. All right, so now we have two people building settlers, which will get us a city there and a city there. I am okay with that. Uh, we will go ahead and... Well, that gets us a flanking bonus. So yeah, we'll... Or what else do I want to do here? Probably not going to get that anytime soon, so I may want to jump to that next. Um, but for now, we'll just grab a quick, easy technology there. Go ahead and heal up our warrior. And now we can fix our little misplay there. So we, we're connected now. Oh, so that might make our trade routes faster. Possibly. I have no idea. I'm completely making this up as I go. So where did they found this city? It looks like they have, they are expanding away from us, which is good news. All right, so we are going to take a shot at them. Bloop. So hopefully that will keep us from getting killed. Uh, Athens is going to grow next turn. That will be good. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. Let's see, now, my other question is, do I want to buy the tiles need? I still probably, think I probably don't need to do that. So we're going to go grab the wheat over there. Yeah, they're on the run now, so I think we can try to take them out. We did not get the kill, but I don't think they can kill us, so we might be able to get it next turn. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with Drama and Poetry, because again, I don't see us building a wonder anytime soon. Um, so that is probably the best way to go there.
All right, so my plan worked, and we did not die. If it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable with comfort. So does it not let us? Yeah, hopefully we can take that out since it is unoccupied. As long as they don't spam or spam something there next turn. I wonder if there would be any benefit to the Great Lighthouse. I don't think so. For now, we're just going to start backfilling some of the... You know, getting up to 50% on some of those texts that we are missing. And I think definitely Brussels is going to get the next trade route. I wonder if it's because of all these hills that it takes so long to get... Oh. Oh, well that is just dirty pool right there. Hmm, like the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, I did not see that barb galley coming. Well, shame on me. Alright, good job barbarians. You got me on that one. I don't have a slinger anymore. Be very proud of yourselves. Alright. So, a little cheap shot there, but we, we will learn from that. Uh, I don't know what we'll learn. Other than and then to to watch out for barbed galleys. Or I guess that was a quadream. They don't have galleys in this game anymore. Once again, my, my familiarity with Civ 4 and not six, Civ 6 is, is showing. Alright, so... Oh, one turn away. So we need to jump off of that next turn. Um, man, so let's see. What do I want to do next? I probably want to... Right here might be a good holy site spot. Let me see right now. Oh, so that would be... Well, so plus three right there. What way do we get the bonuses from? So an adjacent mountain tile, adjacent district. Okay. Um, Yeah, so this would be an excellent spot. So we'll probably do a holy site there. That means we want to leave those woods there. Um, then that really doesn't leave us a spot for a commercial site. Um, Oh, so actually, oh, so I can, I think I can cheat this, because I can put this down while we still are at four population, and then we'll see once we go down if we are able to keep building it, even though we are no longer at four population. That will be, that'll be pretty sneaky if I can pull that off. I'd be, I'd be really proud of myself. Um, man, I don't know what I want to do right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this so I can hook up the wine. An extra luxury resource never hurt anyone. Famous last words, right? I said I wasn't going to twitch my mouse, and now I think I'm still twitching my mouse all over the place. Ooh. This is not a good sign. We seem to be kind of stuck here.
I would be very sad if my game has crashed on me. But it seems like that has been exactly what has happened. Well, on that note, I'm going to drop a quick cut in here. We probably are getting up against to the, the time limit. Uh, so we will see you next episode, hopefully. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.